In four years at the University of Pittsburgh, Tony Dorsett, as he was known back then, rushed for more yardage than any man in college football history. In 1976, he won the Heisman Trophy and led Pittsburgh to a national championship. And yet the list of luminaries who came to visit him on the University of Pittsburgh campus discovered he was undergoing an identity crisis. Being Tony Dorsett, they started calling me TD for Tony D and for a touchdown. But the... Tony Dorsett? I thought it was Tony Dorsett. Well, I've changed it to Tony Dorsett, you know. A few months back, I've, I've, I ran into this young man. He, he was calling my name, he was speaking to me as Tony Dorsett, and I liked it. And anyway, Dorsett is supposed to be a French name, and S-E-T-T -T spells set and not sit, so I think that is the correct pronunciation. Fittingly, America's best ever collegiate running back was the top draft choice of America's team. I told him uh, that all the names came out that uh, he wanted to be called Anthony Dorsett, and I said, well, when I won the Heisman Trophy, I wanted to be called Roger Stobach, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, they didn't go along with that in the Navy, but uh, he's uh, he's been kidded a lot about about certain things. But he's he's a fine uh, you know he's a fine guy and he's a great athlete. So it's it's worked out very well so far. And when he, once he starts gaining the yardage, it's going to work out a lot better. As a rookie, he didn't break into the starting lineup until the tenth week of the season. Yet he still managed to establish an assortment of team rushing records with a style destined to make him the game's second all-time leading rusher. A big play guy, the kind of guy that you'll get down in there and get down in there and then boom, 40 yards, 50 yards. He kind of slips and slides and then when he sees it, he's gone. He's got that kind of acceleration. Surprisingly enough, he's a better north-south runner than he is east-west runner. Uh, he has great feel and recognition when he heads into the line as an inside runner. But you don't think about him being on your side right because he only weighs 190 pounds. But it's his great acceleration and speed that makes him what he is today. I've got a real unique view of him as a running back. I'm, I mean, a literal view from the football field that not many people get to see. I see him hitting the holes, and I see the holes opening and closing, and I see the kind of adjustments he makes. I might be able to make the same adjustment mentally to do it physically and to be able to combine the two is a tremendous gift and Tony's got that. Blessed with all the physical tools, Tony Dorsett still feels the secret of his success is not his foot speed or his agile open field moves. To Dorsett, success begins with the primary senses, without which all the training and coaching in the world are pointless. If you ever watch me play, you'll see when I get a ball, my eyes, they light up like silver dollars. And I'm just looking at everything, and, and I do see a lot out there. Running a football is, is, is instinctive. It's all creative. It's all impromptu, and things are happening very, very quick. And my vision helped me, I think, survive in the NFL. Yet some have questioned where Dorsett's vision leads him. The line on him is the fact that uh, somewhat the same line they had on uh, Franco Harris for so long is that when he got close to the sideline, he'd run out of bounds. I think that's kind of a bad rap because uh, Tony is a powerful runner and he knows when to take a shot and when not to. Now, he's not the kind of runner that's going to run over any, anybody, really, uh, but he breaks a lot of tackles. We've well, hit him, I think, about as hard as you can hit him, and <laughs> he keeps coming back. <laughs> You know, he keeps saying, well, some guys, well, we're going to knock these guys out of there, but hey, you can't knock him out. He's going to come back the next play and may beat you on the very next play. He's history against us has been, you stop him, you stop him, you stop him, you stop him, and boom, he's gone for 40 or 50. I'm not a bulldog type of runner. I didn't come into this business being a bulldog type of runner. I'm a runner that you, your grandmother, or someone else could probably enjoy watching because I'm, it's something exciting that's possible to happen at any time on the field. The things that I do, the God-given talents that I have, I think people kind of take them for granted. You know, people kind of say, well, that's, that's just Dorset, you know, that's just his way of doing things. And, and I think probably over the years, uh, I've just been taken for granted. An interesting observation from a man who often leaves entire teams of tacklers floundering in his wake. 
But when it was first and 99, the Cowboys always knew they were in scoring position. Goal line defense for the Vikings, a handoff door set at the middle. Here he goes. Let's do his right. Oh, no. To the 20, to the 20, to the 10, the 5, touchdown! Unbelievable! Tony Dorsett is in the record books. 99 yards. There's a certain magic surrounding Texas Stadium. For 11 seasons, the man who basked in its spotlight was Tony Dorsett. When you look back on it and see Tony Dorsett's name at the top of every running list that was ever compiled, you'll realize how, how great a running back he really was. To see how he runs is to know that Tony Dorsett is truly one of the greatest running backs ever to play pro football.